Good morning, modern steaders. In this morning's video, we're going to make this large soil block maker using scrap wood we have lying around our homestead. It's made so the plate and the pusher won't fall out, and you can't pull it out either. It's got stops either way. You know what? I'm just looking at this in the monitor, and it kind of looks like a dynamite box. Just saying. I'm using a solid piece of pine here. You can get glue ups like this at Home Depot or Lowe's. I just traced out my first template. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna cut this out, and then we'll come back in and we'll trace it and we'll make a second one. planned on using my jigsaw to make this, but I forgot I had loaned it out. So I had to dig out our bandsaw. Now we need a square peg the size of our medium soil blocks. I have a piece of a 6x6 six six here that I'm going to get a 4 inch block out of. You can go up to 2x4s and then rip it down on a table saw. You can buy a 4x4 four four or find a chunk of a 4x4 four four and cut your 2 inch block out of that. I like utilizing what we have around our homestead. That way we don't have to waste. We can go to the store and buy a lot of this stuff i buy a lot of the stuff to make it, but I like to use up what we have.
we have our plate, our two inch by two inch block. They're both pre-drilled. I got a four inch long screw. Some glue on the base of it. Like that, put some glue on the back side. Now we're going to attach our plunger handle. I've got two inch and a half wide strips that we're going to attach on either side of the handle. This will keep the handle from pulling out. I want to make sure we pre-drill everything that way we don't split our wood. Mark the position of our dowel. Now for the top handle, we're going to take another piece of the same pine, put it on top of the dowel, I'm going to pre-drill again. Now we have our very own large soil block maker. So when we're ready to start growing our best tomatoes that we can this year, one of the big reasons we started building our soil block maker now is because come springtime, we're going to be busy. We're going to be having hand-hewn farm here in the middle of April for a three-day pasture-to-plate whole hog culinary class. So that's going to have us busy for three or four days. We're going to be busy composting, getting our soil ready for growing our great vegetables this year so we can fill our root cellar and use our outdoor kitchen. So I figured, you know what, I better build that soil block maker while I have time. So if you're twiddling your thumbs because it's winter time and you don't know what to do, start thinking about all the projects you can do. Start planting your gardens. We just got our seeds in that we're going to be using this year. They're all non-GMO heirloom seeds. We'll go over them shortly in a video coming up. I'm looking forward to spring. I hope you are too. We'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. You know what a soil block is? A soil block is compressed soil that's pressed into a block with a little hole in it or a little round square hole in it to start your seedlings. You can make small ones and they make medium ones. And the medium ones are like an inch and three quarters by inch and three quarters. You have your press that makes them. You press them out. And the nice part about the soil blocks is it makes the seeds start really good when you go to transplant them. Their roots don't get disturbed, so they transplant and they take off a lot quicker and you don't have the pressure from transplanting a plant. That's why we like using them. And this way you don't have to buy containers. If the seedling doesn't start, you can just compost your soil and you're not wasting a plastic container. So we have a super small one. We have a small one and then we have the medium one. We want to make one that the medium one can fit into. 
We looked online, we didn't like our options, 